Oh boy. What kind of blog are we filming today, Joshua? And you got guns on the table. I hope we're buying a truck. So that's the goal. The other day we started to film a video and like halfway through the video we didn't end up buying a truck but we finished the video off with, I think I purchased a different truck or we went truck shopping or something. We're back on the prowl for a truck for Jeshua. He's pretty content with passing up that other truck that he looked at and we didn't get any video of that truck but for the kind of cash he has to spend on a truck, it's not worth settling for the first truck you see for 12 grand because let's be honest, you got some options for 12 grand. Yeah. And if you have got 12 grand in the budget for a vehicle, it's like you could buy the truck you're gonna look at today. Yeah. Almost 100,000 less miles. I know, it's crazy. Cleaner frame, little bit of body rust maybe, but it's all super easy fixable it's stuff. Like the, it's like the little tiny bit of rust at the bottom of the door you always The see. typical Dodge door rust. But like all that stuff, especially since we know a good body guy if you ever Knock decide price it's down important. Six grand. Yeah, it's like, yeah. Plus the other one I had. And a freeze leak coming out of either the thermostat or the head gasket, but it wasn't out of a hose, so I didn't want to deal with it. And then the fuel filter was leaking through the bottom because he had some special rig on it. He put like, what do you put, octane in it, he said? I don't know. To what start him, I'm like, no thanks. And then, uh, we first thing, I got there and I was just turned off because of the color. Like, it wasn't the he same had changed, truck. Yeah, he had changed the two-tone on the truck. Yeah. And he never sent him pictures. He's like, oh, sorry, those pictures are from a year ago. He's like, you didn't think about sending him pictures. So the first thing, I'm like, oh, already like kind of like, ah, oh, I'll look past the color if everything yeah. else is fine. Because you want a good truck, you don't really care about the color. Well, I decided I'd rather not buy that one because of the kind of the problems it had. It had a little bit of blow-by. A little too much white smoke coming out of yeah, the Yeah, but like when he's talking about a little bit of blow-by, he's not talking like just steam. Yeah. Like, that any truck, like when you pop the oil cap off, you can see a very, very faint haze of steam. Like, it was like white. Yeah. Like white smoke coming out Probably of the thing. Quite a bit of white smoke, too. And then you yeah. turn it off and it would just be right. And it was still just like coming so out. So, we passed, it was only, what, an hour 20 away? Or was it an, an hour? hour. Just it was one an hour. hour. Yeah. yeah. So, it wasn't bad, but I found this one. It's got a little bit of rust. It was a plow truck. The tranny's already been replaced and front ball bearings. So, but plow truck, but the guy yeah. said that he pressure washed it every day after plowing, and so the frame's like. Yeah, he sent us mixed. pictures, and every he was really cooperative, and the other guy wasn't quite as cooperative, so I feel good about this one. But I said, get a truck that you can buy for seven, seven thousand five hundred, or whatever, and even if it's got a little bit of rust, if the mileage is low, the frame's pristine, the drivetrain is sound, you can always fix that little bit of stuff and get all of your money back, even if you had to sell it for 10 or 12, and it's only a 200,000 mile truck in five years. Like, if you're gonna buy one with 240 and he said he's gonna run it at least 100,000 miles, whatever truck he buys next, you're talking 350,000 miles when you're done with it. You ain't gonna get your 12 grand back. It's just a better deal all around, I think, as long as it's sound and it just is what he described, it should be sweet. Okay, let me swing on over here. Grab Jeshua, he had to run over here and grab his wallet hopefully and then uh, yeah first gen by the way you see that first gen back there right there yeah last I believe four days three days to enter to win that truck every five dollars is 20 entries to win but time's running out. We've never ran that deal before. You get your wallet? No. No? No, no wallet? No wallet, but I got money. Oh well. Whatever, who really needs it anyway? If we get pulled over, I just tell them my name is... Kimo Sabi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna run on the road here, get going, and hopefully be picking up a truck. Here we are. Almost, we're getting close. 15 minutes out. 15 minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. 15 minutes, we're getting close. Lots of good scenery on the Oh way yeah, out. yeah, this is one of those drives that like, it's not boring and there's actually stuff to see. Right, it's trees on every side. Then Turkey open field, strutting, deer. swamps, lakes, it's nice. So, we're gonna be there within, well, 15 minutes and uh, Hopefully this truck is everything we're looking for. It's gonna be a hot one today. I would almost, love to almost 80 degrees. 77. Almost 80 degrees, which is just nuts. I mean, May, I'm May happy. what? May 2nd. May 2nd. Yeah. It's right gonna on. be gonna be a good day, so uh, we're gonna be there soon. And then hopefully we can, uh, once we pick up the truck, if it's what he's looking for, of course, 
Hopefully we can get some video with you guys on the way back, maybe back at the house, get some rollers if you're going down the road, stuff like that. <laughs> and uh, show you guys what he got. We should be at the spot. I see a, what is that, is that Cummins or is that just like a big old flute? barn. Oh yeah, there's a Cummins. Big old Cummins sitting right there. His truck's in the barn over there, so we're gonna go check it out. Well, Joshua snagged this truck. It's got some flaws. It's got some small stuff that just needs fixed. A rebuilt P-Pump on it, and the P-Pump's brand new. It's all marked and numbered and all that stuff for the rebuild on it. Um, it it's, it's really clean under the engine bay. You can definitely tell the guy took care of the truck. I mean, it's definitely not being neglected other than a little bit of rust, but the guy's in Michigan. Like, what are you gonna do? It's Michigan. All that being said, we are on our way back home and we are gonna do a full rundown on the truck, show you around, get his take on, you know, what he's thinking, how he feels about the deal. I told him, I said, hey, worst case scenario, you, you feel, get second thoughts or whatever, you don't want it, I'm sure we won't have a problem selling it or I'll take it off your hands or something, because uh, it's a nice clean truck. I mean, the paint on it is really nice. Like, I'm surprised how nice the paint is on this truck, but I mean, it's, it's a great looking truck. So we're gonna get back, we're gonna get on the road here, we might make a pit stop, gotta use the restroom, get some gas, but then we should be able to, um, keep on rolling down the road. Michigan state officials that put the road workers to work. Fix your roads. Apparently you've got to lift the handle. Oh, yeah, apparently you've got to actually pull the handle for it to open. <laughs> so we're in his truck. How was your drive back? Was it, it good, was, bad? It was a pleasant drive, more pleasant than the first gen. That was the point of selling it. But it does slip from first to second, which it didn't really do when we test drove it, or at least not dramatically. No. So, we'll see. I'm gonna make it slip. If you're really getting on it, it slips. But if you just, I mean, just driving, it doesn't slip. So it's kind of weird, I don't know. But we will see. It starts right up. I mean, yeah, it starts like great. It just take a while. But, I mean, it is a slug. Once it gets into overdrive though, it, it'll get after I mean, when this guy said it was stock, I mean, he really meant. Yeah. <laughs> like, this thing is a slug. I mean, it's got freaking muffler still. Yeah, you don't want any of that. She didn't do it. weird because he said it was a newly built transmission like rebuilt transmission miles ago. yeah but he also said well I mean yeah, of course no overdrive it takes off yeah he's like but of course that's the only tr that's the only receipt I don't have yeah. I'm not saying he's lying but right. it's just kind of like really you don't have Classic. the most the most expensive repair on the truck you don't have the receipt for right hmm you know what I mean yeah Unless it was like they threw it on one of their own truck lifts and had somebody do it. Yeah. And that's why they didn't have yeah, it. Yeah, like Mullins Auto Service did it. Mullins is his last name. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. So, other than that, I mean, that was that was the point of spending less money. Yeah. To have money to spend to fix it up, make a nicer truck. Which I didn't plan on this one having slipping, but that wasn't even first to second, was it? That was second to third. No, that was yeah, that was second to third. So it'll do it either first to second or second to third. It's just slipping. And it could be a valve body issue too. I was telling him because sometimes that can that can make a difference with the transmission and how it can shift and timing and all that stuff too. But other than that, I mean, I was we were going 80 for a little while there for a second. Yeah. Wait to get around everybody and it was fine. Steering feels fine, really. I mean, it's. Not any worse than my first gen. A little bit worse, but it doesn't feel terrible like I can't handle it. The brakes are good. And hopefully with the 1200 that I saved, basically, or well, I saved way more from not buying that 12K truck, but that last thousand he wanted, maybe I can use it to fix this slipping. 
Yeah, when, when he says the 1200 he saved, he's talking about the 1200 he didn't spend on this truck because he yeah. was asking more originally, you know. But, so, like right there. So it's second to third that it does. Yeah. Yeah. It goes, RPMs go up. That's a slip, right? Yeah. Well, RPMs stay up and it kind of delays shifts. Yeah. Right. And you can also, now how about we do this? Before he takes it to a transmission shop to have them look at it, Comment down below what you guys think that might be because I know there's a lot of you guys out there that drive the second gens, first gens, fourth gens, all that stuff, third gens. For the nine, what year is it, 96? Yeah. It's a 96 12 valve. If it's a slip between second and third, I think it is, or first and second, what might be causing that in case we have to like inform a shop as to what we think it might be so they can find it a little bit easier. Leave the comments down below what you think it might be. That might help us out with pinpointing the actual issue. Now here she is. Freaking uh, Cummins Turbo Diesel. There's a lot of space in this cab. It's got brand new headlights, LEDs, strobes. And this one right here was the seller for him. I can literally travel across the country and sleep in this thing. He does a lot of fishing, a lot of hunting, whatever. And I was trying to film, but the neighbor kept mowing the lawn right up against us. Here's a better look at it. It's that, like, I don't know. I want to say it's maroon. Maroon and silver two-tone. Here's an old car. Yeah. Not in bad shape. No. Considered, I mean, the rust isn't like through the backside of these panels yet, the rockers, but I mean, technically this could be saved, but just grinding it off and putting Bondo, but prefer to just put a new one on. The rockers aren't that bad. I don't need to put new ones on instantly, but I probably will. That way I can I just guarantee I'll eventually get my money out if anything. Yeah. yeah. That's what I told him. I said, if you take care of the rust, and the transmission slip, whatever that is about. Yeah. This is a twelve thousand dollar truck if it stays under two fifty and it and it's completely clean, you know. Yeah. The and frame is just immaculate. Yeah. Compared to like you can see, you can see like right here. If I don't focus, there's freaking original stickers up there. He does a lot of fishing, hunting, and all that jazz, and this thing is just perfect. Dry storage. If you gotta travel or if you go on a traveling hunt, you gotta camp in your yeah. truck or whatever, there's plenty of room. It's an eight and a half foot bed. Tons of room. You could fit two army cops in there and room for storage. Yeah. Like it's nuts. It's it's sweet. Not only that, then you throw all your bags in the cab while you're sleeping yeah. in the back. KN intake, newer turbo apparently, new manifold within the last couple years. Brand spanking new injection pump. You can see all the markings on it. Brand spanking new. No blow by in the engine whatsoever. We did a blow by test on it. Zero blow by. No white smoke comes out of here. Cap doesn't pop up or vibrate anything weird. Just sits there nice and still, loosely. I think it's got a newer, it's got to be a newer fuel shutoff solenoid. I didn't even realize that you got a brand new fuel shutoff solenoid. That's what that is right there. Yeah, he said that everything's brand new on that pump. Yeah. That's why it's sluggish. He's like, man, this thing is a slug. I said, well, if you've got a brand new pump and it's not turned up, it's going to be a slug. Probably a good thing to leave it like that. Yeah. If the train is already slipping. Yeah. Unless you're going to get the trans built. Yeah. They're better if you leave them alone on the automatics. Other than that, it looks unmessed with other than fixing stuff. Yeah. It's not jacked up with horsepower. Yeah. And I, and I told him too, I said, those pumps, the kid said it was $2,200 for that replacement. Yeah. And install, you know, combine. And I'm like, yeah, that's a good thing to have replaced then before you buy yeah. it. Because those and are free. I don't know expensive. if you said in the last video, but when we didn't buy the other one, basically on the way home, we were just talking about, I think more my style is to buy a truck for less money. That way I have some cash left to fix things and make yeah. it a better truck. Yeah. Instead of just buying the better truck and not knowing if it's actually that good. Well, better truck is in just more expensive without yeah. knowing if it's truly a better truck because With it shows way more, more miles it sounded it, it, yeah almost a hundred thousand more miles but the other thing is too engine blow by was actually pretty bad starting on that engine at 240 something which is really surprising because usually 12 hours as long as you maintain it properly 
they're a 500, 600, 700,000 mile engine if they're maintained yeah. properly, you know what I mean? So that was kind of surprising, but like this one, it just ran like a top, just yeah. great. The yeah. oil looks okay and it needs an oil change, so we get to see how the oil looks. It's yeah. not like, oh, I, he changed the oil before we bought it, so we don't get to see how gross it is. No, he said it needs an yeah. oil change. Yeah. <laughs> So we'll so, find out what the oil looks like. But yeah, other than that, there's some leaking going on. He's sure. got a green belt. Doesn't look bad. Good bones on it. Yeah, it's got great bones and the body work's not that bad. No. You've oh yeah, some bad body work. And that's what I was telling him. I said you would rather buy a truck for 7500 bucks that all it needs is a little bit of body work and it's got 100,000-ish less miles instead of something that's 100,000-ish more miles and rust free, yeah. but if it needs some work in terms of engine and mechanical work, stuff like that, you're gonna go backwards on it. There's no way you're gonna be able to recoup your money versus yeah. something with low miles and a clean frame. Where worse comes to worse, he can always fix the little stuff and have it done, you know, and by the time he does the transmission and that minor body work, he's in hardly 10,000 bucks and it's only a 180,000 mile truck. And the frame is immaculate. It really is super, super nice. Whatever that spot was you found that was starting to put a pretty good amount of rust on but. Yeah, I mean, there's a little rust starting, of course, but the truck's from freaking Michigan. Here, for being a plow truck, it's still not through the second panel of the door. Sometimes they'll, like, cut the whole bottom half the door off, and they'll re redo it and yeah. put a new one on, but good truck, great truck. Five million scratches, it looks good. Now, I'm surprised that the bearings at all are in, any good at all because the roads we were driving were like... Oh, I was telling them in my video, I said, Michigan, Get your freaking roads together. Oh They're horrible. Yeah. Everybody I know that has come from Michigan, whether I buy trucks up there and talk to the owners, or somebody wins a truck from Michigan, we've had that happen. Yeah. I think two winners from Michigan now. They're like, the Michigan roads are horrible. That was bad. That was the worst. Big road cities, ever. back roads are like they're freaking awful. And I don't know how true that is everywhere, but I believe them after the few times I've been. There. It wasn't like in the boonies, boonies either. No, I mean, it was like a couple minutes off the. These highway. roads are well maintained. Yeah. Crazy. Wow. What do you think of his truck, babe? I like the color. You like it? I like it. What does it remind you of? I don't know. I like the grandpa shell, though. <laughs> I love it. I know you love it because you put all your hunting Beautiful. gear. That's the first it. thing I said. I said that's, hunting and fishing. You, now you sound like my papa. <laughs> but the, the color match and everything? Oh, yeah. It's professional. No, it's hard to find it. Right. They said they, they spent $1,200 getting the windows put in on both sides of that. That's nuts. Why would you well, here's that? the thing. The cap alone yeah. would sell for minimum 800 bucks. Because right. it's in perfect shape. There's nothing broken on it. Yeah. Perfect shape. No damage anywhere. Everything works. Yeah. I mean, it really looks good. If I didn't have to see that little bit of rust there, it would be just beautiful. Yeah. As I said, I said, well, for 7,500 bucks, you can't lose on it. There's too many parts. Yeah. Worst comes to worst. You know what I mean? Like, it would sell too fast. We'll have to uh, hit up Miguel. Yeah. Paint guy. He's the guy. Yeah, guys. There's a look at his truck. Check this grill out, too. Where you go? Oh, grocery shopping. Do a grocery get Okay, drive safe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Got to see Jeshua's new truck, the new wheels on my wife's giveaway truck, which by the way, if you want to enter to win her black giveaway truck, you can go to dieselbabegear.com. You have to go to her website and enter on her website to get entries to win that black truck. If you want to enter to win this truck, however, plus $5,000 cash, you got to go to lnpgear.com. Both links are in the description. Remember, Diesel Babe Gear is for that black second gen lnpgear.com is for this truck plus $5,000 cash and this giveaway ends in three days and then it's gone 20 times the entry so every five dollars is 20 entries as soon as you check out we're working on a software to help you guys see your entries a little bit better when you're checking out and in the process but as soon as you place your order you're automatically entered so for example if you spend a hundred dollars on the store to enter to win that truck at lnpgear.com right now you would get 400 entries 
towards winning this truck. So take that into consideration. We've never ran a deal like this before. So maximize on your opportunity to take on this truck plus $5,000 cash because you guys are running out of time and then this giveaway will be gone. Thank you guys so much. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button, join the team, join the family. Leave a comment down below, subscribe if you're new and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.